Well, welcome to Electrovise, a channel, a lithium ion technology company dedicated to accelerating the energy transition with better and safer solutions. Joining us to give us a high level overview of the company, a bit of his history and some milestone expectations for the year. We have Raj, the CEO, joining us. Welcome, sir. Hey, great to be here. Pleasure to get you on. So I want to dive right into this. I mean, you're providing the safest and longest lasting lithium battery tech. For newer audiences, do you want to kind of give us a brief elevator pitch to an idea of what Electrovise is doing? Yeah, so Electrovise is a lithium ion um, manufacturing company and technology company. And we make a unique lithium ion battery product that has about five times the cycle life or the longevity uh, compared to comparable batteries that are used in electric cars. And then we also have a technology which makes our lithium ion batteries much safer than those that are used in electric cars and other applications. So when you have these two key benefits, uh, there are market needs for those types of, of that type of performance. And we're finding that to take place in the heavy duty market. So any application where they're using the batteries extensively, that could be a truck, that could be a forklift, that could be a robot. We have a key competitive advantage for those sectors. Yeah, definitely appreciate the insights. Do you want to talk a little bit about what's been going on and what we can kind of expect for 2024, perhaps from like a milestone uh, expectation standpoint? So I uh, became CEO about two years ago. And two years ago, we did, uh, let's say, four, $14 million in revenue. That year, we were losing money. Um, and uh, to be honest, our stock price was higher than it is today. Today, we uh, last fiscal year in 2023, we did 44 million US in revenue. We've had four back-to-back -back quarters of positive EBITDA. We're uh, on track to continue strong growth in the current fiscal year. Our guidance uh, was again another you know, uh, strong strong growth year in fiscal 24 of. Uh, 65 to 75 million is what we had in our guidance. And it doesn't stop there, it continues. There is strong demand for uh, our battery technology in these heavy duty sectors. Most of our revenue today has been in the material handling space, which is continuing to grow, uh, but we're targeting other sectors and I expect to have similar success in those, those new verticals. Yeah, and you recently uh, just mentioned there that you're kind of taking the helm here, and I wouldn't mind rolling back because you've actually been with the company since 2009, only you know recently becoming CEO. Uh, do you want to talk about that aha moment? Like, how did you get involved with uh, Electrovia, and what led up to that CEO moment for you? So I joined in '09, yeah, after completing a PhD in material science. So by background, I'm on the technology side, and I've been involved in many aspects of our technology development over that 15 year period. And still do when I have uh, some some bandwidth. But um, in that 15 year period, I've been in various roles, engineering, research and development, business development, and then operations. So I've, I've been involved in every aspect of the business. And two years ago, took took over from uh, my father, who was the, is a co-founder of the company. No, very interesting. But uh, I'll pass it off to the viewers. Um, if you guys want to get news as Catalyst come down the wire, we're going to bring it to you here as the story continues to evolve. If you have any comments or questions, let us know what you think in that comment section below. But on that note, we look forward to catching you in the next one.